guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today what we're going to be working on is the 39 Ford Forgotten Hot Rod project again. Now you may remember in the last video I was able to successfully get the engine and trans uh, into the chassis and then I immediately realized that the oil pan, uh, even though shorter than a truck oil pan, was not going to work and it was hitting the cross member and I was probably an inch or two off of the front motor mounts, which was obviously no good. So what we're going to work on today is getting the uh, original oil pan off, put the oil pan that was in the car originally that's already been notched in the front onto the, onto the engine, get it all slid back in, and maybe, maybe if we have just a little bit of time, we're going to try and get this Y-Block, uh, 55T Bird Y-Block engine running in the 39 Ford frame. So we'll see what happens. All right, so I got the engine out, and I uh, just wanted to show you guys. You can see here where the uh, the original pan on the T-Bird engine was hitting. You can see all the orange paint. They got deposited just from setting it down. So uh, a couple guys commented, "Oh, the engine looks like it's pretty close to level." Well, it wasn't too far off from level, um, but you know, just dropping that inch or so would make up for the you know degree or degree and a half that it was sitting high nose high in the front but either even if it was level this is the problem we're having the oil pan was literally resting right on the cross member which isn't going to work so no matter what even if the engine was sitting level we were going to need to clearance something so uh, I got it out got the old oil pan off which I made a little bit of a mess of course doing it by myself and dropped it in the oil pan so I got to clean up that mess but then we are uh, ready to swap the pan over got the engine out uh, got the we're gonna reuse the T-Bird pickup because you guys remember the beginning of this project, the, uh, the old oil pan was filled with sludge and water and junk, so that pickup tube was all not good. So we're gonna use this one, swap it over to the new pan, which is sitting, I'm gonna walk over here. I just got this cool trance, by the way. <laughs> right here, uh, Mike painted this all up for me. You can see how it's notched here on the bottom, so that will give us the clearance we need. And uh, this is pretty much ready to go. We're just gonna uh, swap the pickup tube on, throw a new gasket on and some sealant and tighten everything up and then we can drop it back in.
<laughs> what are you scared of? I'm not scared. I'm just not All right. gonna die if something flies apart. Nothing will fly apart. It's just gonna crank. See if the starter works. <laughs> Look at that. Starter works. Now we put spark and fuel. Oh, fuel? Okay. Let's see if this uh, cobbled together six volt setup I got here is working correctly. So we'll know if the fuel pump's working if we see the bowl fill up. There's no shut off in the fuel, is there? Down here. Because we were just squirting fuel all over the damn place. So either this fitting isn't tight or something's wrong with the fuel pump. Try number two. So I broke my own rule and didn't file the points, and that's why we weren't getting some ignition. I can always tell because usually when you touch this positive wire and you hot wire it to the battery, you'll get a little spark that and that powers up the coil and tells you usually that your points are working so now you should be able to get some fuel to this thing and it will fire So, very successful video. Uh, it took a little bit of fiddling to get the engine out, get the engine in, oil pan on, all that stuff swapped around, but it actually worked out really, really well. And uh, we actually had some time right before we were, we were about to leave for Hershey to uh, get the engine fired up. So I am super psyched on that. Uh, engine sounded great, started up and idled with basically no problems. Really the only thing we had to do was I had to Sand the points, which is kind of something you would expect on an engine that's been sitting for a while. Sand the points, thing fired right up, boom, and uh, ran awesome. So I definitely am uh, I'm excited to get this thing moving forward. Now that it runs, the brakes work, it's like sort of becoming a car, which is, uh, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna definitely be working on, I think after running the engine, uh, modifying and adding some of the steady mounts that the engine had originally. Uh, I think I may actually add those back in and weld, weld some tabs to the frame. Uh, I definitely need to source some different exhaust manifolds. Uh, these ones run right back and will probably run right into the firewall. So, And they also dump like right into the frame. So what I'm going to try and do is get a set of center dumps. I know that Speedway offers a reproduction set on their site. There's some originals floating around on eBay. I'm just going to shop around and see what I can do for finding the best deal so we can keep this project project low budget. Um, otherwise, it's just moving forward with getting all the, the odds and ends bolted on before we put the body back on and fix the floor, like put the fuel tank on, run the fuel line, do all that kind of stuff. And once all that stuff's pretty much set and we can, um, we can run the engine off of the original fuel tank, then we're pretty much ready to throw that body back on and uh, start fixing the floor and uh, get all that rust repair done and get the body and the frame married back together as one. I appreciate you guys following along. As always, we do videos on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. If you haven't, definitely hit that subscribe button, share it with friends, and uh, have a good one, guys. Enjoy.